So welcome back again to my channel viewers uh, this is still extremely website and uh, today i'll be giving you some examples here now let's uh, take for example we have a question here on the board now let's have this question here on the board now the question is on ap that is arithmetic progression as we know now i'm going to show you some easy steps to getting some things done now the question here said three numbers in arithmetic are in arithmetic progression okay their sum is 15 and their product is 80 now determine the three numbers now it is something that is somehow a technical but it takes a, a lot of uh, little steps to get there now for example let's get a solution let's get onto it so the question said three numbers are in arithmetic progression now the next thing now is that to know there the three numbers what are the three numbers now to get the three numbers in ap the first number for every first time is always what a the first term, the first number here is what? A. If there be a second number, that is going to be what? A plus D. Okay? That is the second number. And then we're told that the third one, the third one is supposed to be what? A plus 2D. But this time around, to make it easier for us to solve, we do it like this. This is now what? A minus what? D. That is how to solve questions in this particular form. So the first term here is what? A. The next number is what? A plus D. Let's put it in bracket. And the third number now is uh, A minus D. So let's also put this in bracket, okay? So these are the three numbers, but then what are these values? We're looking for them in values, okay? Now let's look at something now. The next thing said, their sum is what? 15. Now their sum, let's look at the sum. We said that their sum, the S of N of the numbers, the S of N is what? 15, okay? The S of N is 15. Now that is to say that what? If I'm to sum these numbers now, that is what? A plus a plus d and then plus what a minus d it should give me what 15 right so this is what the expression is saying actually so what to do from here is down to collect like terms now we have a here a here and we have what a here now when we join this 3a becomes what this a, a, a becomes what 3a then we have this to be what plus d minus d so plus d minus d now what happens to that is that d cancel what d and we have 3a is equal to what 15 right so this is the first thing to do next now is to make a subject formula 15 now divide by 3 it's not going to give us what 5 therefore the first term of this uh, problem now the first term is what the first term is now equal to what 5 so we have succeeded in getting the first term because the most important thing in this is to get your first term if you're able to get your first term because first term appears here it appears here and what appears here so once you're able to get your first term everything is going to be solved now the next thing now is to know what their product now let's look at the product of the numbers product of these numbers now that is what a in bracket multiplying what a plus d in bracket also multiplying a minus d now let's simplify it gradually now let's simplify these two first uh, let these two in bracket first let's simplify them so what we have there is what a plus d closed bracket and we multiply it by what a minus d don't forget we still have uh, a here right so but that we won't touch it for now so let's look at how we multiply them through now a multiplied by a here is going to give us what a squared a squared a times minus d gives us what minus a d plus d times a here gives us what plus a d plus d times minus d will give us plus times minus to give us minus right that is minus d what squared so we look at it carefully we'll notice that uh, minus a d plus a d cancels out so what we're left with here is what a squared a squared then minus what d squared so this is exactly what we're left with so now we're going to still multiply this through by what a okay now let's have it through let's have it here now if i'm multiplying this through by a let's write it at this side now at this side now have this to be what a into what a squared minus what d squared so let's multiply now a times a here is going to give us what a cube right so a cube now minus a times uh, d square inside to give us what a d what 
square and we said that this is equal to what their product is what the product of the number is what 80 so the product here is what 80 now the next thing now is to look at it. We have a square minus a d square. Now, don't forget one thing is to recall now that we already solved for a here. Don't forget, we already solved for a in this place here as, as the first thing. I will say that our a is what? 5. Now, we'll replace a with 5. Now, this is now same as what? 5 cubed minus what? This is 5 d squared because this is not given. And then we'll put it, this now equal to 80. Okay? Now, from here, 5 cubed, that is 5 times 5 let's simplify it gradually times another word 5 right equal to 5d squared my uh, that is not equal to what 80 am i this is what sorry for this this uh this here is not equal to it is a uh, minus okay so this is minus wonderful so now 5 times 5 is 25 25 times 5 will give us 125 let's come here that is 125 minus what 5d squared is now equal to 80. So now from here we we'll do one simple thing that is to collect like terms. Now if we collect like terms now, this uh, comes to this side while this moves to the other side. Okay, now let's collect like terms from here. Now this is now 125 minus what 80 is now equal to 5 what d squared. So 125 minus 80 now. If we have 125 and we subtract 80, it's more like saying uh, uh, 5 minus 0 is 5, 12 minus 8 is what? 4. We're having it to be 45 is 4 to 5 what? D squared. So at this point, we divide both sides by 5, divide both sides by 5, so that 5 can cancel out here, and then we're left to only what? D squared. Now we have this to be 5 here, 1, 5 into 45 is what, 9 times. So now this 9 is equal to D, right? So this square is still 9. So from here now we'll do one simple thing again. The simple thing now, since to remove this square up here, we'll apply what we call square root. Square root removes the square, but we'll apply square root to both sides. So now this square root cancels out this square here. So we're left with just D. And then we have that the square root of 9, square root of 9 is what, 3, right? So we're done with this. So we've succeeded in getting two major things here that are played in Kiro. We have the first term and we have the common difference. Those are the major things we ought to find. So at this point now, we have found this point. This is our first term. And at this other point, we have found what we call the common difference. So now we can easily get our question solved easily. Now look at what, I mean, look what we'll say here. Now from here now, look at what we'll do. Now at this point, is very easier from here now. Look at what we'll do here. So from here now, we have that our first time before. We said that the three numbers before are what? The three numbers, we said that they are A, comma what? A plus D. Don't, for, don't forget, you have not finished except to do this process. This is the last process to show that you have really worked. Then the next one is what? A minus what? D. These are the three numbers. So now let's replace them. A is 5. A here now is what? 5. Common difference is what? 3. Yes. So the next one is a is 5 minus common difference is what 3. That's good. So this, if we simplify this, work this out, notice that this is going to give us uh, this here. This is now 5, comma. This is uh, 5 plus 3 is what? 8. The next number is uh, 5 minus 3 is what? 2. So it is time for us now to arrange this number in, uh, from in ascending order. So we start with what? 2, comma, 5 comma what eight dot 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 and these are the three numbers that are missing our three numbers that are required in order to find that for their sum to be 15 and their product to be what 80. thanks for watching my video this is extreme learning website do feel free to follow us on the next video the next video will be looking at uh, more on arithmetic progression thank you